Well, then we'll tell him that the bird died. I just don't see why I can't take her today. Look, it's good public relations for the shelter, okay? We're trying to save the dogs and the cats. Uh-huh. So we want the people to be interested in taking them. Now, you leave it up to old Ray. If Mom gets in touch with me, then you can get the bird. You hungry? Huh? Want a hamburger? Piece of pie? Pie? Uh-huh. Hey, Ginger. What kind of pie you got? We have banana cream, we have coconut cream, we have chocolate cream, we have lemon cream, we have lemon meringue, we have apple, we have cherry, we have raisin, we have mixed meat, we have pumpkin, we have Boston cream. Banana cream. We have raisin, we have He says meat. banana cream. Sure. I've got to go to work, Francis. Bye, Mom. I got you something. Just one more day, Frank. Remember, if anybody calls, just... If anybody calls, I'm going to say, I'm sorry, the parrot's been adopted. Yeah, and, and if anybody even just wants to see the bird or get on a waiting list or anything. I'm going to say, that's impossible. Because the owner saw it on Channel 5 and came right in and took it to South America. Yeah. Okay, now what if... Frank, has it occurred to you I have work to do? Minsky needs me in the clinic. Ray's investigating a cruelty complete and we're almost closing. Please, help me out. Hi, we're not too late, are we? Uh, no, you want to adopt a pet? Well, actually, we want to leave some. Now, Willie, we've talked about this. The mother was hit by a car. She wasn't our pet or anything. She just chose a tire in our garage to have her litter, or well, whatever you call it. Now, Willie, we just can't take care of them. We'll take care of them. What will happen to them? Uh, well, Willie, we'll keep them for a week, and then... And then what? Well, and... And then they'll find homes for them. You just ask the man. That's what they do in the shelter, don't they? I'll find him a home, I promise. Thanks, mister. Okay, let's go in. Holly wants a cracker! Oh. Why couldn't you have said that on television? Don't worry, she won't watch. And tomorrow morning, you're coming home with me. Oh, he won't hurt you. He just thinks he's a dog. But we gotta hurry. My man's gonna be on the tube tonight. We got some serious work to do. He probably doesn't even have a television. Showtime! Just remember, you heard it here first. You know, with care and understanding, she'll make some lucky person a loving and faithful companion. Call the adoption hotline number now. That's 555-L-O-V-E. Companion Animal Specialist, Channel 5. She's waiting for you to give her a name. Yes, Animal Hotline? I just saw my missing bird. Yeah, security? Van Boren's here. I hear noises in the garage. Yes, as soon as you can. Thank you. Good evening, Francis. Well, isn't this a coincidence? I've just been thinking about you, and now here you are paying a sympathy call. It was nice to see Virgil on this evening's news, especially after receiving your touching note describing his death. 
Really, Francis, you are laughable. Internal injuries from eating a potato. Are you all right, lady? I see you've brought the bird. All I'm missing is the ring. Oh, what happened there? And now, Francis, my bird. It's not your bird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. I see you found my door, Frank. Breaking and entering, fraud, intent to deceive, malicious mischief, theft. A court-appointed attorney will contact you within the week, Mrs. Phillips. The court date is officially calendared six weeks from today. I'll hold a preliminary hearing in two weeks. I'm so sorry, Your Honor. I'll do whatever you want. I suggest you monitor him closely. I needn't tell you how serious this is. If he gets into more trouble, if he pleads guilty or is found guilty, he'll be taken from you and placed either in a corrections facility, state custody, or foster care. Well, what about the animal shelter? Shelter's no longer an option. I'll call Ray Whitney today. You let us all down, Frank. Let's hope we can sort this out without too much pain. I left my hat at the shelter. Hat? Hat? Maybe you should think about Ray for a minute. He stuck his neck out for you in that bird. He cried when I told him what was going on. He didn't cry, Mom. Just get in the car, please. Where's my stuff? In the back. It's the only way to live, Gary. Go for it, Francis. I'll come right home. I'm waiting right here. But I have to talk to Ray. You get your hat, you apologize to Ray, and you're home, Francis. Am I making myself clear? Crystal clear, Mom. Calm down, Mrs. Barton. Your Phoebe will be just fine, okay? Please. Um, Frank, the, uh, the parrot is, is really sick. I'm sorry. Hello, Frank. How's he doing? Well, yesterday, I would have said he could fly away. Today... Something's wrong inside. Hello. He's a very old bird, Frank. Things could change in a hurry. Is there anything I could do? He saved him once. I think you should just say goodbye. You want to talk to Minsky? I'm sorry for that. I'll tell Ray you're here. She thought you'd be coming home with me today. I screwed up pretty bad. It doesn't matter now. It's just an unfortunate mistake, Miss Van Boren's. Mistake? Yeah, my mistake. They won't let you feed pigeons in the park when I'm done with you. Wish we could just fly away from here. Here. That boy is not to go near my bird. The boy's attached. To give him a minute. Get my bird. I've been waiting long enough. Don't worry, you'll be okay. <laughs> 